Hi everyone, did you know we've released the biggest ass we got so far for cloud backup? Starting this month with the release of ONTAP 9.10.1, you can actually backup your ONTAP volumes directly into a cloud archive tier. That's right, to AWS Glacier, Glacier Deep Archive, Azure Blob Archive, and Google GCS Archive as well, directly from ONTAP into a very cost-effective cloud tier. It's also open a new world of possibilities because now you can offload your longer retention backups directly to be managed by the cloud provider, right, in a very cost-effective tier, right? If, you're, if you want to backup your data for more than a few months, right, the chances of you actually restoring it is pretty low, right? So why should you manage it? Why should you store it locally and give the chance of, you know, an attacker or insider manipulating your existing hardware? Right, just offload those backups into a cloud archive tier and you can just keep it basically forever. So if you have a longer retention to backup your data for a year, seven years, 30 years in case of mortgages, right, that's an easy decision. An additional very commonly used use case for the archive tier is the ability to create an additional copy in the cloud, regardless if it's the second site or the third site. Usually customers will rent some kind of a data center, place the hardware there, put the backup in there. But again, it's very tedious, right? You need to maintain it. You need to uh, make sure it's operational, monitor it. That's a lot of work. Instead of that, you can just offload that data directly to you know, any cloud provider, AWS, Azure, and Google. And then you, know, you have a very cost-effective tier. You have just in case without any need for any management, which is pretty awesome. And, you know, the last one is the obvious one. It's tape modernization, right? Tape, it's very tedious. It requires a lot of work. It's very unreliable, right? Many times you want to restore from a tape and it just doesn't work anymore, right? So in, instead, you know, just move it to the archive tier. That's a very easy decision and a very cost effective. Okay, so let me show you how easy it is to set up. So the first step is just to click on the cluster, enable backup and restore, and select my destination. The second step is actually to select my backup retention, right? I can choose up to 4,000 backups if it's hourly, daily, monthly, or weeklies. And on the lower side of the screen, I can actually select which archive tier to use, right? So this is AWS for this case, and I can easily select the term I want to use, and if I want to use Glacier or Glacier Deep Archive. The term is basically the amount of time my backups will reside on the standard tier before moving to the archive tier. So if I paste 10 in this field right here, any backup older than 10 days will be automatically and seamlessly moved into an archive tier. That's that easy. The next step after that, it's actually to choose which volume to protect, activate backup, and we're taking care of the rest. We'll automate the entire process end-to-end, -end, creating the bucket, the policy, the policy on the cluster, and enable and start backing up. Okay, but what are my options if I want to restore data from archive tier? Is it different? Let me show you. So here I'll, I'll select a working environment and I'll click on restore a volume. Now I need to select which data I want to restore from. In this case, I have one volume protected. So let me choose the backup I use to backup to archive tier. So I'll search in this case. Okay, so I'll select the backup that was tier to archive and click continue. And now I need to select the destination, right? So I want to restore to a different system. And now this is where it comes interesting, right? With the archive tier, you have different tiers that you can restore data from, and I'll show you a table in a second. But just remember, in the cloud, nothing comes for free, right? So if it's extremely cheap to put the data in the archive tier, it's probably more expensive to get it out. This is one. And second, if you want to get your data faster, it's more money that it will cost you. If you want to get it slower, less money, right? Here in the table right here, you can see the differences between the different archive tiers, where in Glacier and archive tier in Azure, you can, you know, it can vary between just a few minutes to multiple hours, but obviously a few minutes will cost you a lot of money versus multiple hours will be cheaper. 
and Glacier, which is the cheapest tier of them all, you cannot get data fast. So take it under account. It's a minimum of 12 hours um, that can vary up to 48 hours. If time is not crucial, go with low, it will be cheaper. Okay, so that was it. Thank you for watching and start moving your older backup or your third site into a more cost-effective tier. Peace.